<laughs> Welcome to Flow Chips. My name's Ken. I know you guys want to learn some nunchucks. I just wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas because I'm sure I won't see you everyone before Christmas. This is like kind of the Christmas video. So I'm using red chucks. I actually don't like these chucks very good, but I think that they'll work really good for doubles. Uh, I'm gonna try to get weekly videos always on Tuesday, unless I'm just like swamped with awesomeness, like gigs and stuff. I mean, that's a good problem to have, definitely. Anyways, let's get on with our technique for today. Today's less of a technique, actually, it's more of an exercise to help you with your doubles, okay? Um, doubles, a lot of times, has a lot of coordination moves, so we're always moving kind of in sync kind of moving in sync with one another. But what I wanna kinda of do is help you to release that synchronization. Uh, it's kinda of like this kind of thing, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like this kind of thing, uh, but with nunchucks. So what I want you to do, and I can only do this with one hand better than the other too, so it's something that I need to work on too. And I was starting to, to think about how I could develop exercises. The idea is basically that we have one hand doing one thing and then the other hand kind of doing a lot of different variations to keep it interesting. So we can always fall back into that synchronized motion, but then when you need to just break apart and uh, do something a little bit different, uh, you wanna be able to have, it's almost like you're doing singles except for one hand is doing a pattern and you wanna kinda lock that in. So for now, let's just say your least dominant hand, which is my left hand, is going to be doing a figure eight wrist roll. Your right hand's doing absolutely nothing. So you're doing a figure eight wrist roll and your left hand's, or your left hand's doing a figure eight wrist roll, your right hand is doing nothing. Now the idea is, we're gonna try to detach our brain from thinking about this wrist roll. And you might think, well, I'm not thinking about it, but you'll find out the moment you start moving your other hand. So what we're gonna do, first, I'm gonna see if you can just hold your hand out straight. And then I want you to start drawing a line, almost like your hand's a painter, and see if you can move it up and down without stopping the wrist roll. Now, of course, you may have to adjust because you don't want it to hit your arm. But basically what I'm trying to get you to do is move your hand up and down like so and then left and right, which is to me is a little bit more difficult. And the whole time I want you to not stop doing this wrist roll here. So here, do your wrist rolls and see if you can detach, okay? The moment you can detach, you're actually pretty good. You should be able to then take a nunchuck and do the same thing. Do the figure eight wrist roll and just see if you can do like a bounce. Whoops, <laughs> see? Just see if you can do a bounce or something simple like this. And then just start adding on to it. So you're doing your wrist rolls, bounce, bounce. Add a wrist roll, see if you can do that. Yes, it gets a little more complicated the more you do, but in, the, in essence, as long as your hand is doing what it needs to do, it's doing one thing right now, uh, you can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be figure eight wrist rolls. I mean, it can just be a forward spin here, but it's to me that's like less motion. You kind of want to keep your hand moving more. So that's why I say usually figure eight wrist rolls is a good way to do it. All right, the second thing I want to show you for today is a combo for a single nunchuck. It's not as hard as it looks. It looks like this. I'll do it again here. Uh, it's kind of a redirect that we've done before. We're just adding a slight figure eight motion to it. So if you remember, we've done this motion before where you you hit on the outside of your tricep here and you lifted your hand up and you kind of swung it around to get the nunchuck to swing over into your open palm. So that's gonna be kind of the first step is remembering this motion, but we're not gonna do this motion. It's just gonna be here to here. Now this time we're gonna let it kind of rest on, along the bottom of our wrist instead, right there. Our other hand's gonna pull up to the sky. So here, here, I'm just gonna grab it for a second so you can see. My right hand's gonna pull up to clear out some space and it's gonna kind of spin around like so. Uh, we're gonna make a full circle. So make a full circle around your wrist and this is gonna kind of play follow like so. So here, here. I'm sorry, I'm really, <laughs> that lawnmower is really distracting me. I was like thinking it'd be all like awesome to come out here and be outside and Christmassy and but then it's like, nah, nah, it's like Jason or something. <laughs> Let's hope that's not what's happening. Hopefully they're cutting a Christmas tree down and something. Anyways, uh, here, here, wrap it around like so, and then our hand's gonna go down. So it makes a full rotation with the chuck on the top, and then it pulls down and slashes down this way. So It almost looks like a figure eight 
that goes across your wrist. So it's almost like one of these motions, but your wrist is in the way. Creating this obstacle always makes things look a little bit better. Anytime like you use your body, it's a little bit better than if you didn't. Like just doing this, for instance, as opposed to this. So we're trying to get our body in the way because it's more interesting. Now here's the deal. Once you go to this point, we can slash down by the by the uh, side, just like we used to with this redirect. You remember, this is the redirect that we used to do anyways. This time we're just adding a little figure eight to it before we do it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slash it over into my open hand, and then we're gonna do the other redirect, that hyper redirect. Now in case you forgot, when you grab it with your left hand, you're going counter, uh, you're going clockwise. Your hand is moving clockwise this direction, while this hand's moving clockwise this direction to pull it through. So it's in, you're just creating a half circle from here to here. It's almost like a crank, it's like crank. And then this hand's gonna create the other half circle, crank, and it's gonna bounce back here. So catch, crank, crank. So crank, so this is one, crank, this is one, crank. Together it's crank, crank. So all together it's here, here, slash, here, catch. One more time slowly, here, here. Hey, you guys, Merry Christmas. I will see you guys very soon. Hope you guys keep spinning. Um, don't forget the Flow Tricks Facebook forum. Now we're including all props. So. If you spin more than just nunchucks, if you do poi, staff, double staff, be sure to be sure to join us on Facebook. It's it's just an excellent place. It's great. We're all family. I will see you guys soon.